Uh, hi, this is the Holy Roman Emperor, and this is my 8th custom bell recording. I command the forces of Noldor, and my AI opponent uh, commands the forces of Gondor. So we can see in Battle of Ages. So my opponent's army consists of 5 units of Gondor infantry. 5 units of Gondor Spearmen, 5 units of Dismount Swan Knights, and uh, 2 units of Gondor Cavalry, and 1 unit of General's Bodyguards. So, my strategy is that I will reinforce my troops, align one by one, and I'm doing so right now because I don't think now that this single line can hold against all those guys over there but so the bell has begun and you can see these Gondor curly men striking right into my archers but I often live on the care of us archers but these archers can fight those guys off on, their sam on themselves so I didn't really care uh, these guys over here are getting flanked but they can fight off these guys and the secondary line is kind of flanking those guys so this will be an easy battle so I will advance my third line somewhere over here so I'll be able to stop the routing units from routing So I'm sending one more unit of secondary line to assist the forces of the first line. And here you can see my enemy is currently running. I'm taking his. Now the third line has come, but the infantry seems fine. And remember, I'm just testing this tactic. I wouldn't use this in an online battle. Well, I could use a strategy like this, but I will send only a single line to confront the enemy forces because it wouldn't be a trap because it will be too obvious if I will send only one line of infantry unless they were like super elite units and, uh, and I also will use this like depending on the opponent's deployment so as I told I will deploy my third line somewhere over here my archers are so killing their archers they have two years of black root veil archers they're fucking good, good archers And here these Gundar infantry units are getting super blooded. So now my third line is advancing right behind those guys. And these guys are starting to rot just I, as I timed. And now I will stop them from routing by using these guys so I'm using these guys to attack right from behind
Gondor keeps fighting but it's not enough, not near, not even near enough. Here you can see some of my guys already attacking those guys over there. And my right flank is surrounding these this one and swan nice over here actually this was kind of successful strategy like I <laughs> never believed that this would work even on an AI so the enemy opened <laughs> enemy units are starting to route and not many will manage to route in the end and these guys are certainly going to route soon enough so you can see a massive route going on my guys will chase these guys till their death here you can see me sending all my troops off after those Gondorian units so here you can see a bunch of dead Gondorian soldiers And uh, by the way, I was thinking about stopping to upload these videos until Silmarillion, until well, War, War of the Silmarillion Total War will come out, or at least uh, Third Age Total War 3.0 will release. But not yet, I mean. I will entertain you for as long as you want me to do so. Those cars are so cool. But uh, I showed off like lots of those guys at the beginning, but the Gondor forces overpowered my forces like by 500 men already, so it didn't really matter. But of course I decreased their morale and shit like that. God, those you. Yeah. Units, I mean warriors of Mithlan, they fucking remind me of Gwenta Silmarillion like hell. I wish that War of the Silmarils was already published. But as you can see, I won the battle pretty much, so I can stop recording at this point. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the battle.